Oh, Lowry, as always, you're wrong. Thank you, brother. <laughs> but Thank but you. strong uh, drill. Don't be negative. No be negative yeah, here. Yeah, no complaining. And it's now time. It's wonderful. It is now time for the adults to get part of the show. Oh, yeah. As Tom Hofarth has a brand new sport coat and business cards. It is time for the business with Tom Hofarth. Business. Oh, I like that. That was good. Boom. That was all right. That's now, all right. if we could combine some of those together. So yeah, we'll work on it. And then we're going to. So, Tom, you are a man who writes for the media. You write yes. about the media. You critique them. I'm a journalist. You're a journalist. I'm a critic. You're a critic. You have your own website, farteroffthewall.com, by the way. It's on the business card. Uh, what's on the business this week? The business is the shaping of Josh Rosen as an NFL draft pick. And we want to talk NFL draft. It's coming up a week from this week. Um, we're talking. Finally. There's lo there's a lot of local interest because yeah. of Darnold, Sam Darnold, and Josh Rosen. And there's a lot of interest in where these two guys are going to end up. And you start off a couple weeks ago with Jim Mora talking about uh, how Rosen is too smart. He buried Rosen. Right. How? Well, he buried him. What do you say? He said that they should take Darnold over right. Rosen. How's that burying him? But this is th and then this gets his own guy. It gets into the semantics of what is Mora's ultimate game plan is to yeah. get Cleveland not to draft Rosen, to get them to draft Darnold. You know, it's okay. there's all this gamesmanship involved. Yeah. But now lately, so ESPN magazine came out with this big Josh Rosen feature, and th what what caught my eye wasn't Ooh, that sultry. so much is how the Washington Post followed up with it with a story that said Josh Rosen is Jewish and a millennial. Does the NFL care? So now the narrative is He's starting Jewish? to I didn't get. Know that. Well, that that is an interesting sort of thought because he went to a Catholic high school, Saint yeah. John Bosco. Mm -hmm. He says in the story he doesn't identify either way, culturally Jewish perhaps. He's socially, you know, what a kid is today. Sure. And They're then there's, and then there's the issue too that John and I were talking about too, whether he's even a millennial. Do right. we even believe that that's I, the case? I don't. I don't necessarily think like college age students at this point are still can be categorized as millennials. I don't know what the next name for it is. I've yeah. heard yeah. Zennials and other stuff like that. Yeah. But um, it's there's a different kind of mentality going on with uh, college age kids because like I have a brother who's about to turn 20. Yeah. And like my sister who is 26, like her and I are definitely of the same generation. So are you, do you but identify as a millennial? Not necessarily, yeah, I'll say I'll say I'm a millennial. Sure. My kids, if I say that, they will punch me in the head. Which is disrespectful, but d how do you feel about the term? Uh, it's well, the way the term has been it's used not by most used media, well, again, it's, 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 it's pretty it's much right. always negative. It's right. a bad it's narrative. Almost ne yeah. So the cover says Josh Rosen won't shut up and throw. That's old people. An interview with the NFL's yeah, it is most old people. Draft in fact, that's, QB. that's what the story is about the media and how they're sort of taking these code words right. and what they're interpreting them. So if a Tony Kors Kornheiser says. I think when you say a Jewish kid is too smart, that's code word for... Anti-Semitic. Uh, yeah, very yeah. much. So most of us in today's world might not even put those two together. Mm. Josh, I'm sure, doesn't put any of that together. Right. He sort of understands the history of it, but he is such a bright kid, I think. I think the question with him is obviously health mm -hmm. with concussions and things like that, but that's not being discussed. The media wants to discuss this whole background of his personality right. and, and because of Mora trying to do this manipulation, obviously, with the press as well. So my media rant is, is don't believe everything you read and don't believe everything you hear, but sort of take it for what it's worth. And, again, this was a really good in-depth interview with Josh, and he sort of explained the background, why he brought up his past, uh, he, he does come from a wealthy background. He yeah. comes from a his rich His dad, heritage. Ivy League educated, right. orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. Right. Mom he, is a great, great granddaughter of the Wharton School of Business. Right. <laughs> Jeez. His dad was up to be Surgeon General. Yes. Right. That's right. how great his well, dad is. So what's, the, what, what's your so angle so that, That's my angle is just be careful what you read and, and process well, it. The, and there's don't code words, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I was telling you, I was listening to oh, Colin Coward. Come Calvert. on. There's all kinds of code words. Exactly. In sports. He's a grinder. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm listening He's a real, to real scrappy yeah. gym rat. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to Colin Coward. Brian Cox is on there, and they're asking him about the Rams, Marcus Peters, and saying, Oh, he got in arguments with coaches, and he's got a bad attitude. And and Brian Cox says, well, well wait a minute. Tom Brady was cussing yeah. out yeah. his coaches. What do people say? Oh, he's passionate. He's, he's nope. gutty, right. right? Okay, we know what these code words are. So we have a, a young <laughs> Jewish kid, and he's smart. Yeah. Too smart? Too smart. It's it's yeah. nasty. It, it, see, it, my it, thing yesterday when we were talking about this through email is, though, like, uh, in an informal uh, survey, a hundred percent of my friends had no clue he was Jewish. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't was, know until right now. Yeah, you 
found yeah. out now. It's like, what does it matter? It has right, right, nothing right. to do with anything. Again, it's the media bringing it's these things up because they have all this time to fill before the draft as right. well, which is another problem, I think, with the draft and the media. They're, they're, well, there can be so many different things because, yeah. I mean, look who's writing about these guys. Right. Older, yeah, bitter older, white guys. Right. right. You're right. Like, yeah. code word for so many different things. And but when you get a kid who can talk Q&A on the record, he's, he's, he's unfiltered. Right. He can explain himself. He's a very smart kid. He's very clever. Here's he, the thing. He understands the sarcasm. Having been around yeah. some yeah. of his UCLA teammates, yeah. and I actually know his high school coach, Jason Negro, and I, like, okay, everybody raves about how he is as a teammate and yeah. as right. a person. Yeah. Right. But it's always the people who don't know, who are right. just watching from Make afar. Oh, look at this kid. Look at that kid. Like, right. So he had a hot tub at UCLA. Dude, if I could have had a hot tub at UCLA, I'd have two of them. He regrets. Like, you know? he regrets thought that was brilliant. Yeah, funny. exactly. He actually regrets doing that, not for the reasons you think, just because he thought that that sent out the wrong message and he they, it was a joke that but he at wanted. the same time in that same interview what he talks about uh how yeah that sent out the wrong message is he's saying that he doesn't give a shit about what the message he's right, putting out right. mm-hmm. and then he's saying oh well you know i should uh i should you know not say the f- i should not say fuck because uh because the these, thing, uh, these yeah. children yeah. but then in the same interview he says fuck four more times so yeah. it's it's that's where his issues are. It's not that kid. he's Jewish or that he's a millennial or anything. It's that he's full of all sorts kid. of right. He's, he's all sorts yeah. of stuff. He's, he's a college student, yeah. which right. is right. how we all were at that age. Yeah, we're still searching. at this age. But the thing that I find interesting when we talked about uh, Rosen is people want to question how bad he wants to be in the NFL, right? Because he comes he from some money. He doesn't, he doesn't need, need it. Either. But the, the Johnny Manziel question. But the Manziel was more of just I want to party. This guy's actually working hard. Yeah. He's yes. doing the work, getting out there. He enjoys it. And he enjoys and it. Knows. But why is it fair to say how bad does this kid want to do this? When he's not allowed to have because, outside opinions? Because the fans of every team want to know, is it worth drafting him? Instead of praising him for having right. no, opinions. No, no. It's, it's all else. your team. It's your tribe. Does, well, Marlin, does our tribe want him? Remember so. Marlon Roll? The defensive yes. back? Who was the a doctor. Ro- yeah. The doctor yeah. now, yeah, yeah. who was a Rhodes, Rhodes Scholar yeah, Rhodes out scholar. of Florida State, yep. was questioned about his desire to play in the NFL. And... Maybe he because he missed certain things to go apply for a road yeah. scholarship. He, way, he didn't he, have what it took. The code word for him was he was well spoken too. Right. Oh, I'm right. Well, let's tell the, the, let's just yeah. tell yeah. the, the, yeah. the, the dirty <laughs> little secret that we all know that most people don't know, which is this: a good percentage of professional athletes do not like playing their sports. They do that job no. the same reason you do for a job. They get They're good paid. At it. Who's the golfer exactly. that was a baseball player? Right. I'll never forget. I'll never forget, forget, I never oh. forget interviewing S- Sam Perkins it for was, the late. He won recently. Yeah. Oh, oh Destin. Doesn't Johnson. matter. Move on. Move yeah. on. Move on. I'll never forget talking to Sam Perkins of the Lakers uh, uh, 10, 15 years ago, and him saying not only didn't he like basketball, he didn't like sports at all. <laughs> huh? Why did he play? I get they pay me millions of dollars. They pay me millions of dollars, and I set up my family. Yeah. A lot right. of you, why do we do our jobs? Right. Because we love what we do. <laughs> we ain't get free. paid. But, we ain't doing it. but there's a lot of guys in the media this is actually, who hate their job, too. This is actually the highlight of my week, which, again, I'm sad. It so is, that, yeah. Well, most yeah. people do jobs they don't like. Yes. Like, and yes. are really successful right. at it. Most right. of yeah. my friends. Right. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have to find I know you down in Newport Coast right. are watching. Yeah. Exactly. No, I, I hedge fund guys. You really? Anybody ever say, I want to grow to be a hedge fund guy? Oh, my God. Right. Don't get me into hedge And I'm watching right billions. Oh. Don't get me into hedge funds. I'm watching billions right now. Have you guys watched it? I know, but it looks great. Oh, my. In billions, there's so many references to sports in the last two episodes. Like one of them was Billy Bean has never won a World Series. One of the answers was, but Theo Epstein did with the same principles, but he gets it. So uh, uh, there's, a, there's a, con- a lot of different things in there. 